Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. We are in the port city of Porto. to be a 4-4-2 formation, Jim. I think it gets a, a terrible raw deal these days. It's deemed old-fashioned, outdated, but in truth, with the, the right personnel, it works just as well as, as any other system or formation. Success can still be had with it, and teams are still winning big trophies with exactly this setup. forward turns and goes oh shooting chance he's done very well to get to that oh that's a sparkling save absolutely sparkling his reflexes were ultra sharp Forsberg did give it a fair old crack and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Tries to get it forward quickly. And needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Adventurous run from a defender. Up for the header! And it's played forward. Hoists it forward. Ektal plays it for... Has a goal! Needed better contact. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Isaac. Gets 
gets into a dangerous position. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And the referee's awarded a free kick. It's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. <laughs> He's gone direct. He's good for it! A oh, great save, real class. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. to get it forward quickly and he's shown him a clean pair of heels good run through the middle but he needs support knocks it in gently over it comes up to meet it well to get his head on that but couldn't score Isaac really could have done with putting that away he was up like the proverbial salmon And it's played forward. Well, that's where he wants it. Olsen. That's been drilled forward. And that is as far as they're going to go. Forward it goes. Ektal drives it forward. Obviously move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. And the finish! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, one sloppy lapse like that can do a lot of damage, and it was triggered by the closing down. quickly just brushed off the ball there forward it goes gets wrestled off the ball that's just very well played he can't hurt you with his back to that's clear cut it's a free kick Drives it towards the front. Isaac. No. Isaac! It's there! And grabbing that opening goal so close to half time, too, affords them that extra little psychological edge. And once one of your main men that's doing the damage, it just grows the togetherness and it grows the spirit. Calm, composed, confident. What a super goal. And that's just clever. He made the keeper think he was going one way, only to outfox him by going the other. Very nice.
Sweden take the lead, 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Hoists it forward. Sweden clearly seem to have lost their passing accuracy, something they're obviously going to have to fix pretty quickly now. And he heaves it forward. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it, a close-fought half of football, but that has still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. And the second half gets on the way. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Forsberg proves too strong there. That had to be more accurate. Forsberg goes looking. Defenders on the back foot. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Has a hit! And it's played forward. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, you... I think he did well to, to spot the run, he just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Forsberg. Surely. Isak. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Forsberg. And it's Olsen. Ektal, who set up one goal so far, gets it back. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Knocked down by a lack of accuracy. Olsen drives it forward. Chance to play it in. Played in deep. Lovely bit of skill there. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Keeps everyone guessing. Looking for a decent ball in. Had a shot. Oh, what a wonderful stop. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Hector. Sweden got their goal at the end of the first half, and it's 1-0. Isak. Olsen. In towards the middle. And that's been levered clear. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. for the cross, up for a header! Good delivery, no joy. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Up towards the front line. Has he found his man? And that's been one straight back. Both sides a bit lacking in intent. And it's got through. 
Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. And there's obvious upset over that challenge. You can see the players face to face. Let's hope this doesn't escalate. of appeals but the referee is not interested He's still got it needs help Olsen attempts a clearance and that's that terrific contest it really might have tipped either way the margins were tiny just a goal in it but that was enough and after all of that Jim what are you thinking well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard.